Hey everybody, it's Joe, and I'm just testing out some uh, new equipment for my streaming setup, making sure everything is looking good, and I thought I'd use this opportunity to answer a question that was posed to me. Tristan Flowers wanted me to answer the question of why aren't 3D printed homes more common? And of course, I could be brief on the answer with this, and I could say, come on, the paint's not even dry on the technology, man. Let it develop a little bit before we're wondering where it is and why we don't have it going on in our homes or going on for our homes. But I also fell into this trap of being excited by the hype and the technology. Last year, my low-poly dyno Kickstarter raised $8,000, and there was a company called Icon out in uh, San Antonio or, or, or New Mexico or Texas or somewhere, I, I think. Uh, let me check that real fast. Austin. They were in Austin, Texas, and I thought, Austin, Texas, Southern Utah, they could come over here and build me a home. So I tried reaching out to them and said, you know, would you like to, to build a, a set for a moderately successful YouTube channel? And they never got back to me on that. And I, I don't know if that's because I had bum contact for them or if it's just because they were getting flooded with requests like this and they were like, eh, yeah, let's let's not pay any of these any mind. And hey, if if Icon builds or there's a new company out there called uh, We 3D Print Homes, if you guys get to see this video and would like to, you know, have a little bit of publicity on a mildly successful YouTube channel, contact me. But yes, this technology isn't ready for prime time in in many ways. And I think the biggest downside that I've seen to it is that most people are still using the idea of building a scaffold around what you want to 3D print and then 3D printing inside that scaffold with basically taking the idea of a 3D printer as we have it and scaling it up to a house size. And the problem with this approach is that if you're already building something bigger than a house, well, why not just put walls on it and call it good to go? You know what I'm saying? Why take the time to build a house inside of that with the scaffold? And maybe they can put it up and take it down real easy, but I've seen a couple of companies, I've seen a couple of developments where what they do is they build, uh, and I'm going to refer to to. Ryan Carlyle's book, 3D Printer Engineering, which is a great book. This book has almost convinced me that I've never used a 3D printer that was well built before. The, the absolute uh, genius that went into writing this book, it's, it's really an engineer's look at 3D printing. He even goes through and defines what 3D printing, what the different types of 3D printers should be properly called, and I love that. And he mentioned different types of movement, and one type of movement is called a scara, which I've never uh, I've never seen that word before. But he shows it here. Do you see the mechanical arm that's doing the three D printing? Now the advantage to using a scara system is that your three D printer can fold itself up and be taken to the next site and do some 3D printing there and just move it out. Now, the downside is that you have to be able to support as much weight going out uh, as, you know, however heavy that is, you've got to have a counterbalance on the other side. But I think that that's the way that this technology is going to become more common when we can roll up with a concrete truck with a, with a robot arm on it, 3D print the house, fold the arm up and move to the next one as opposed to going to a place, building a scaffold and printing inside of that. But I might have no idea what I'm talking about. And if if Icon or We 3D Print Houses, if you guys want to prove me wrong and build a really cool set for my future videos that'll be better than this place, uh, I'm here for you. Anyways, I want to thank you very much. I did mention my low poly dinos. Well, I had a Kickstarter this year that was uh, cute little animals, and this is my chicken wearing a clown outfit that I 3D printed. Maybe I should grab one that wasn't so silly. Here's a teddy bear. Chibi Malls. I'm going to be modeling Chibi Malls on Twitch, Twitch TV. So if you want to join me on Monday mornings, starting in August, as we 
sit down together, do some 3D modeling, and start our week off with something a little bit fun and creative. Follow me on Twitch. I'll be there. If these streams do well, I'll post highlights here on YouTube as well. And uh, I look forward to seeing you. I think it's going to be a fun way to start my week. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you're looking forward to it too. And uh, as always, safety first because I care about you. I'll see you next time.